Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make chloroform. What you will need is bleach or sodium hypochloride and acetone. So I'm going to start off by pouring some bleach into this uh, jar. Then, I measured out my acetone, which I'll be adding to here. When I add this, it's going to have um, a hypothermic reaction, which means it's going to... an exothermic reaction, which means it's going to actually produce heat. So, you'll see what it looks like when I add it in. Put that in there. As you can see, it's actually turning white. Now, then you just mix this easily. You can use anything to mix it. Just give this a mix. And it turns white. It actually does produce heat if you do feel it. It does get warm. So I'm being, I'm actually doing this experiment in my basement where it's at, where it's cold, and it will it won't keep it from exploding. So yeah, just mix that up. You could put the lid back on. I'll just give you a closer look. Here, that's what it looks like on the inside. You, you don't don't screw the lid because it is actually producing gas. So just leave it on there, just like that. So as you can see, there's a hole there, so any gases could escape. And just wait a, um, a few hours, and I'll be back in a few hours to see the chloroform. Hey YouTube, I'm back. And it, I able um it's been a few hours later, and do you see that it's like at the bottom? That's the, that's chloroform. Right there. Looks like beads. Um, it's it's pretty cool. And I used bleach and acetone to make it. You able to see that? Anyways, um, hope you like this video. And this is what it looks like here. On the inside. It's really, it's, the liquid is pretty blurry. If you can see, even with my own eyes, there's like there's some bubbles. Up. And this is what it looks like on the side. I use this to it. It's like that silverish liquid. Anyway guys, see you in my next video.